Hi guys, welcome back to our math chat videos. We are now on math chat number 15. It's hard to believe we're already 15 math chats in. Again, we're taking a break from volume and we're going to go back in and review some concepts that we've learned in math over the course of the last year that we were together. So this content is adding fractions again and it is from uh, module 3, uh, adding fractions and subtracting fractions. We use the uh, butterfly method and this worksheet looks a lot like the math chat number 14. Um, hopefully you guys are having luck with this. If not, let me know. But for our I can statement is today we can add fractions with unlike units using the strategy of creating equivalent fractions. So with math chat 15 here, it looks again a lot like number 14, just more practice for you. But the problem that I'm going to be doing with you guys during this video is number four at the very, very bottom. This is a, a story problem and the eh, story problem, word problem. We're going to work on this together and uh, it's kind of challenging. So I'm going to go over this with you and then have you guys work on the rest of this document independently. So I copy and pasted this um, problem over here onto my whiteboard and it says right here, Sam read two-fifths of her book over the weekend and one-sixth of it on a Monday. Again, same problem right here. What fraction of the book has she read? Well, in order to know what, oops, that's not what I wanted. Oh, gosh, I'm telling you what, guys, I'm trying with this whole tech thing and it doesn't always work out in my favor. Let's see, oops, put this back up here. Okay, now I think if I, there we go. Okay, Sam read two-fifths of her book over the weekend and one-sixth of it on Monday. What fraction of the book did she read? So I'm going to go through and I'm going to circle my numbers, okay? So they're pointed out at me and I can see what I need to look at and underline what it's wanting me to do. It's wanting me to see how much of the book she has read. So if she read two-fifths of it on the weekend and one-sixth of it on Monday, I know I need to add those two fractions together. So over here, I'm going to do two-fifths plus one-sixth equals. Now, I know that uh, my denominators are not the same here. They are unlike denominators, so I have to use butterfly method. And the first part of my butterfly method is the but. So I'm going to go circle the bottom portion of it right here. And I know 5 times 6 is going to get me 30. 30 is my new denominator. Okay. And then the next portion of my butterfly method is to do the left wing. So I'm going to circle my left wing right here. 2 times 6 is going to get me 12 is my new denominator. And then I need to do my right wing, which is 5 times 1, which is going to get me 5. Now I'm going to do the body of my butterfly. I'll draw some cute little antennas and kind of a little smiley face. There we go. I'm going to add the plus sign. So now I need to add these together because I have now created equivalent fractions with common denominators from our original problem. My denominator is going to now be 30. Okay. Now 12 plus 5 is going to get me 17. 30th. There is no way that I can reduce this fraction because there is no factor that goes into 17 that also goes into 30. 17 is actually a prime number, so the only factors that go into 17 are 1 and itself, and I know 17 does not go into um, 30. So that is actually the smallest form of the fraction that I can include. So over here on my problem, I'm going to write down um, Sam read 17 thirtieths of her book. And I'm going to make that a different colored font just so you guys can see um, my work. There we go. So we, we know that she's read 17 thirtieths of her book. Now I'm going to go back to my whiteboard and I'm going to erase my work here. Let's see if I can... I wish I had my board cleaner. My board cleaner job would be great to have this erasing for me. Oh, come on, erase. But there's an easier way to do this. I just, I'm taking the long way. Okay, 
So now what I need to do is I need to answer part B. And it's what fraction of the book, oh goodness, there we go. What fraction of the book is left? Well, I know that she had 17 thirtieths read. And I know the whole book is 30th, 30 thirtieths. That would be, oops, am I running out of space here? 30 thirtieths. That is the whole book, one whole 30 thirtieths, okay? And I have 17 thirtieths read. So I need to subtract those two to figure out how much she has left. So I'm going to take 30 thirtieths. And I'm going to subtract what she's read, which is 17 thirtieths. And I'm going to identify how much she has left. Now, I don't need to do butterfly method because my denominators are the same here. My denominators are equivalent. Okay, they're the same. So I can just bring over that denominator of 30. And now I can do 30 minus 17. 30 minus 17 is going to get me 13. And again, that is smallest form because there's no factor that can go into 13 that can also go into 30. That's the smallest form of the fraction. So my answer is going to be Sam has 13 thirtieths of her book left to read. Okay. Again, this math chat is a review of adding and subtracting, or mostly adding fractions um, that we learned in module three. When you are done, please click turn in and I'd be happy to go over your answers for you and give you some of my give you some feedback. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to email me or comment on this and I'd be happy to help you. All right guys, take care.